Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you enjoy learning about unique boat designs, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Today we're looking at something quite different, the No Limit 1550, a Dutch-built yacht that combines traditional motor yacht features with an unusual design element, an inflatable collar around the entire hull. Built by No Limit Ships in Groningen, Netherlands, this 15.5-meter vessel represents a unique approach to seaworthy yacht design. The most distinctive feature of the No Limit 1550 is its Hypalon tube that wraps around the hull. This inflatable collar is divided into eight separate compartments and includes an automatic pressure monitoring system. The tube provides additional buoyancy and stability, especially in rough conditions, essentially giving this yacht some characteristics of a giant rigid inflatable boat. The construction combines a steel hull with an aluminum superstructure. This steel hull is built from what they call corton steel, a weathering steel that's particularly durable in marine environments. The boat displaces about 20 tons and is CEA certified, meaning it's designed to handle ocean conditions, including winds above force eight and significant wave heights over four meters. For propulsion, the 1550 uses twin 575 horsepower Volvo Penta D96 cylinder engines. These engines are accessible from outside the hull, which is unusual but practical for maintenance. In displacement mode, the boat cruises at 9 knots, with fuel consumption similar to a single-engine vessel due to the low load on each engine. However, it can also plane and reach speeds up to 25 knots when needed. The engines drive bronze five-blade propellers through stainless steel shafts that run in protective half-length tunnels. This provides some protection for the running gear in shallow waters. The boat has a remarkably shallow draft of just 1.26 meters, allowing access to areas where deeper boats cannot go. Another practical feature is the low air draft of approximately 3.45 meters. This makes the boat suitable for inland waterways and areas with low bridges, unusual for a seaworthy ocean yacht. The interior layout includes two staterooms, each with its own bathroom, plus a main saloon, galley, and wheelhouse. The boat can be steered from either the main wheelhouse or from a raised steering position aft. The wheelhouse features panoramic windows for excellent visibility. For technology, the No Limit 1550 uses something called the Imperibus system, rather than traditional switch panels. This system has preset modes like onboard, navigation, and offboard that automatically configure all the boat's systems with a single button press. The boat also comes standard with a silent automatic generator and an automatic fire suppression system in the engine room. The construction process uses a high quality coating system where the steel hull is shot blasted then coated with epoxy inside and out, followed by UV-resistant top coats. This attention to corrosion protection is important given the marine environment these boats are designed for. What makes this boat particularly interesting is its intended use. While it looks like a luxury yacht, it's actually designed for serious ocean voyaging in challenging conditions. The combination of the steel hull inflatable collar, and rugged construction allows it to handle conditions that would be uncomfortable or dangerous for many conventional yachts of this size. The tube system isn't just for a show, it provides real benefits in terms of stability, buoyancy, and damage resistance. If the hull were to impact something, the tube can absorb some of the shock and provide backup buoyancy. No Limit Ships builds these as custom yachts, so layouts and specifications can be adapted to owner requirements. However, the basic concept remains the same, a seaworthy platform that can handle serious ocean conditions while providing yacht-level comfort. This represents quite a different philosophy for many yacht builders who prioritize comfort and luxury 
over extreme seaworthiness, the No Limit 1550 doesn't compromise on comfort, but seaworthiness clearly comes first in the design priorities. What do you think about this approach to yacht design? Would you prefer the security of the inflatable collar system, or do you think it compromises the aesthetic appeal? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more unique vessel reviews. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.